Hi guys and welcome back. So it's been a little while. So just to give you a quick update, um, I became progressively more and more ill over the past three months, um, resulting in me being like completely bed bound for three weeks and got a really nasty infection as a sort of side effect of being bed bound and dehydrated in a massive drought and heat wave that's going on here at the moment. Um, and then um, finally started my new medication. So I got given a new diagnosis and I started new medication treating a completely different disorder um, to the one I was being treated for previously and suddenly everything's working and I'm starting to feel a lot better. So um, the new diagnosis is a rare genetic issue called um, episodic ataxia, which basically has all of the um, symptoms that I have including the ones that weren't covered by the previous diagnosis of vestibular migraine and um, all the motor control issues and um, sled speech and, and um, all of these things that really uh, were un unexpected especially for atypical migraine so um, the new diagnosis fits the drugs are working for me and for my dad um, everything is looking a lot brighter but I'm obviously not on top of my life at the moment having been um, out of it for the best part of three months so I'm um, just trying to catch up with huge amounts of housework get on with my regular job and get back in control of, of my uh, surroundings and my life uh, so obviously filming has fallen a bit by the wayside but we're going to catch up today and um, I'm going to show you some of the projects that I have got going on in the garden. So I have just been to the garden centre with my husband. I have got a big pile of um, plants that I just bought in the plant cell. So these are perennials and um, things that I have planted in my garden um, previously that I've gone and picked up while they are reduced now at the end of season. So because it's been so hot with this sort of drought and heat wave that we've had this summer, all the flowers and things have gone over early. And um, what this means is, um, you know, every, everything is just looking brown and dead in most gardens, but also the garden centres have put all their sales on very early. Um, so I've been able to pick up a whole bunch of perennials that I wanted to help fill in the bed um, that I've been working on for the last couple of years and I've been able to get them at a great price because they were part of the sale. Uh, so I'm going to be planting those up. I'm also going to be moving some things around. So I've got a big project to trench a flower bed all the way along this fence and all the way along the fence at the back there. We're going to move the garden box from the patio and put it up in the back corner where the loose compost pile is. So I'm going to be cutting and bagging all of the compost that's in that part. That's actually going to go to the tip, to the garden waste um, section of the tip. Um, so we've got a whole bunch of old um, builder's rubble bags um, that we'll put that in, take it to the tip and empty those into the garden waste section. Um, so I'm going to go with my secretaires and chop everything up really small and fill the bags with those. Um, I'm also going to be moving a few plants. I've got two astilbe plants that have not been doing well this year or last year. Obviously this year the, the drought and the heat wave and everything that's been going on has, has decimated a lot of plants. But these didn't tolerate so well the positions they were in last year either. Um, they're just drying out too much. Um, the leaves go all crackly. The, the flowers don't do well. Um, so they are obviously in the wrong position. So I'm going to move those. So between these two trees um, here, that one and that one, um, there is an area that is always in shade. So I'm going to put these stubbies there. Um, it might not work, but I think it's the best chance I've got of giving those plants a nice home that they're going to cherish. We're also going to be putting trellis up along this section of fencing here which we're going to grow some um, cl clematis, clematis uh, flowers up on um, trellis and uh, we're also getting rid of this tree here. So this is a very strange overgrown cherry tree um, but it's blocking all the sun to next door's garden. Um, it, it's not doing anything for anybody, it's not flowering. It's, 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 not being used by the birds it's, it doesn't seem to be serving much purpose apart from obviously being a tree and producing oxygen so this one is going to go um, and that will give us more space along that back section here to put the garden box and the compost bins and, and so on um, out of the way and then across the back 
fence here we're going to have more trellises and we're going to um, move the greenhouse and we're going to have um, the blueberry and the blackcurrant bushes and things and all my fruit plants um, in a bed across the back of the fence there um, with the ones that climb growing up trellis on that fence um, and the greenhouse will go in this corner on this fence um, in the sun because that area gets a huge amount of sun as well um, so I've also got down on the bench here and um, 10 tonne of plants I've got broccoli I've got um, butternut squash plants I've got mustard plants basil plants um, all sorts of bits and bobs cucumbers courgettes um, things that I've grown on from seed that really need to be repotted um, so I'm going to be working on that today the greenhouse itself here is also full of my tomato plants that have been growing on in there um, I got quite a large um, crop of tomato plants even though I lost quite a number of them um, that I started from seeds but I started so many from seed that it's still it's a good number of plants so those are all going out into the front garden in the bed that's been prepared for them um, and the ones that grow the, the vines and the romanas are going to grow up trellis on the front um, of the house there um, and then the courgettes and things that still want to be warm are going to go into the greenhouse um, I've got a project down on the ground here which I'll pop a picture up on the screen which is a bean planter trough that I have been making from an um, old pallet wood, old scaffolding boards, bit, bits of scrap wood that I've been able to salvage for free from various different places over the last year. Um, so all of the scrap wood from our garden has gone. Um, a neighbour of ours, Ted, who has um, a carport, a covered carport and all the tools and um, workshop settings is teaching me how to do things with the, the woodworking side of things and um, so we took away the old staircase that we had removed when we had the new staircase put in our house and um, when we had the building work done to rejig the floor plan and come up with space for a tiny second bedroom um, and that staircase is made of pitch pine so um, I have recorded some of, of this project already but it won't be ready until the whole project is done and we are taking all the nails and things, deconstructing the stairs um, and then we are going to create a um, kitchen countertop out of the pitch pine um, to replace the um, really old and, and falling apart chipboard kitchen counters in the kitchen itself. We are also um, looking to move the utilities from the kitchen some of those things under a uh, sort of lean to conservatory slash porch and um, really it'll just be an awning um, um, with some, some walls down the the sides that face the neighbors fences um, and then it'll be open to the garden at the back um, but up against the house here we're going to put some cabinets in and put some um, of the big pieces from the kitchen, the, the washer dryer, the freezers, that sort of thing, out of the kitchen and here, which means that we will be able to put more counter space in the back of the kitchen um, where most of those utilities are, which will give us somewhere to chop vegetables, which is very exciting. <laughs> we haven't had a single bit of counter space in the kitchen since we moved in. So um, to, to finally be able to actually have a usable kitchen space uh, will be quite a breath of fresh air so that's the long-term project um, with this awning bit here that's obviously not going to happen straight away um, but we are in the next few months going to be laying decking on this patio moving the garden box and putting the posts in ready for um, the awning over this area so we'll watch that space but all the all the old pallet wood and things is now gone all the um, old staircase and things is now gone as so that's over at Ted's house being turned into wonderful new things so things are coming together on this area. I've also got my new bench that James and I refurbished. So we bought this secondhand on um, Facebook Marketplace. Uh, the cast iron ends were solid and so was the um, suspension rod between the two cast iron ends, but all of the um, wooden struts were completely rotted through. Um, so we managed to get it for a really good deal. James took it apart, um, sawed off all the rusted bolts and things. Um, stripped down and um, repainted all of the cast iron work with anti-corrosion paint and, and so on and then um, we reconstructed it with brand new wood just soft wood that we painted with um, and, uh, you know wooden garden paint um, and uh, I'm over the moon with it it's great to have somewhere to sit and have a cup of tea 
uh, nice and rested in the shade up against the house right by the back door and just enjoy looking at the garden and um, this is obviously great for eating at and things but you have to lean forward there's nothing to lean back on so it's it's a bit less of a relaxing experience than you'd want when you're sort of wanting to sit out in the morning and have your cup of tea so this bench is is, is just perfect for that so there's a lot of stuff going on i'm i'm basically going to set you up on time lapse and just follow along with all the projects that i've got going on today enjoyed this video if you have please remember to give it a big thumbs up it really does help and I will put a link now to the rest of my gardening playlist if you'd like to learn more about how I am managing my small urban container kitchen garden on our small plot here in the Cotswolds thanks for watching guys bye